Hello everyone, welcome back to another Joey Plays and Build, and we are playing and building the Enchanted Paradise. Now, if you guys don't know, we have free, D not DLC, but free uh, decoration updates for the, the celebration of the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park. Hopefully, we, we will get more, but you know, like, I, I'm really grateful that we do still have more stuff into this game. And we have like 22 items, I believe. 22 is the exact number. And some of them are really good. One that I don't see a lot of people are talking about, our path. We actually have some nice path. Uh, we have like a, a luxury path and then some sort of brown color path. But we have more paths. So, you know, it's, it's a step further to the right directions. You know what I mean? But here's one thing that I really want to use are these walls. And, you know, I got me thinking, I want to build some sort of a small dinosaur, somewhat of a reptile house. One thing that I, I you know, in, in in past games, especially like some small dinosaurs like the Compies, it's really hard to see them in, in an enclosure that it, honestly like you can't even see even though if you look at the, the viewing gallery they're like little dots even in the viewing dome they're like they're still little dots <laughs> so i want some sort of if we do have any game maybe not some sort of exhibit you know just for small dinosaurs like the compies is better to see them at but at the point we don't have some you know something like that in the game as of yet maybe not so we have to improvise to to make some sort of what well, i'm doing here reptile house now i'm not you know i'm not uh uh, uh how do you say it a, a building builder <laughs> i don't know how do you call it but you know, games like this is why, like, I were like Panic Zoo, for example, they use a lot of different types of buildings. I've watched, I watched guys like Caesar Karate, um, Rudy. They also play, um, uh, Jurassic World, which is why I subscribed to these guys in the first place was Jurassic World. But their Planet Zoo is also amazing too. And they, they built buildings by hand. And that's something that I, I'm very overwhelmed of because I did play Prehistoric Kingdom for only a couple of months until my PC is kind of like blurred out. <laughs> so I couldn't play the game anymore, but I felt overwhelmed by the fact that I couldn't even build a simple building. You know what I mean? As for Jurassic World Evolution 2, we don't have that. We can't build your a building from scratch. Usually they already displayed a building somewhat already, so you could use that like an Innovation Center. You don't build the Innovation Center from scratch. Even though I've seen a lot of Planet Zoo builders or Prehistoric Kingdom builders that build so like the, the Infinite Innovation Center, the Jurassic Park one, is very accurate wow they they have so much you know you have to be very patient in those type of builds this is why this type of game is not for everyone you know it's not fast paced it's very patient you have to take your time on it and which is why i in my opinion jurassic world kind of fits in my my favor i don't need a build buildings you know what i mean they already have displayed for us however though there are still some like that are missing for example like some sort of a small dinosaur or a reptile house you guys been to a reptile house right it's like in every zoo that's where they showcase like lizards snakes excuse me um insects um amphibians so many that's something i really want here in this game you know some sort of of a reptile house a small dinosaur house but you know you could you could do you could display that in any type of form you could do that with the aviary which i have done in the past or you could 
build your own which i'm doing here and one of the items is this type of wall section which i'm using that as an advantage by building some what of a, a little house now i have not seen anybody any videos as of yet to get inspired so you know this is all in my my build hopefully we do get some pros that actually could could build it a much better way than i have but hopefully it inspires people you know hopefully it's it's not as bad <laughs> i would not say it's bad but like um it, it's really hard to to pat yourself on a on on pat yourself on your back you know what i mean um that you think it, you did a good job but like you know there's maybe some sort of ways to make it even better whatever <laughs> okay so now again there's no like a ceiling to make it enclosed and i really wanted that so the best option for this especially in this type of game is using the model rails so it seems like it acts like a ceiling and i've seen this i've seen many park builders especially um evo square who actually make some sort of a ceiling or a roof using the model rail tracks so that's a little description i will show that more in this time lapse oh by the way the time lapse is speed it's like on 4x so it's a little bit slower so that way you guys can actually see it um, a much better how it works so the dinosaurs here that I'm using are Compsognathus, Morris Interpretus, Oviraptor, and Lystrosaurus however I have a feeling we are going to get more small dinosaurs I don't know it's in my gut so i'm going to expand this um, small dinosaur house um, hopefully in the future we do get more small little dinosaurs i was gonna add the cynoceropteryx however i already built a habitat for the cynoceropteryx and i don't want to keep doubling because the compsognathus is the um already used as uh i have two hit habitats for the compsognathus that's what i was trying to say and i don't want to have another double dinosaur in here i want to have more unique different types of dinosaurs the morris the listro and the ovs i haven't used in this park yet so this is actually this morning that i built this because it, it just come pop out to my mind because i had it everything all straight the rails but i don't know i think i was like daydreaming or whatever while I was at work and I was just thinking maybe it's easier to have it all in a circle which I'm doing right now <laughs> so this is the next day and oh yeah the Indoraptor is escape I don't know how see I was just looking anywhere how the Indoraptor escaped but I guess because I had the game on fast forward like there's there's some cases where the dinosaurs would just glitch out from their enclosures and i think it's another dinosaur is gonna glitch out soon i don't know if i record it but yeah the indoraptor escaped and i was so confused because everything was enclosed but usually when you fast forward the the game well this is it, for my game at least some of the dinosaurs oh here it is see the compsognathus escaped too and i know that one's enclosed it's enclosed so I'm pretty much done. This actually took me two days to build this. And the last thing I do is using the decorated trees to, you know, take away all the pillars out. And it was, it was actually a drag because some of the dinosaurs could would not move. <laughs> but I got that out of the way. And yeah, that's, that's it. We got it done and we could show an in game for more of this indoor build. Okay, so See we are in in game and we are in the Jurassic Park theme area so all of this hasn't been not decorated yet i'm going to decorate everything in jurassic park items so this is the dress tour and when you go walk here look at that when dinosaurs rule the earth i love it little arch 
and you continue walking here you will get a good glimpse of the triceratops and the ankylosaurus exhibit i can see the triceratops there but if you keep walking forward see this is one of the new paths i was talking about lovely oh my we're getting the game is getting much much better so i love that and here it is this is the i'm just gonna call it the reptile house or a little small dino not reptile <laughs> or the small dinosaur house small dinosaur house there you go small dinosaur house so yeah look at the banners these are the new banners that they added and this lovely sign here I'm surprised we still haven't got the John Hammond sign. I thought it's going to be one of the the decor, but hopefully one day. And these are the new decorative. This is the pillars. I, I don't know if guests can actually walk in it because it's very small. Look at that. Like This is the smallest path, and it could hardly squeeze into the path. So I don't know if that's a thing. But anyways, we're going to go inside. So yeah, look at this is the, the yeah this is the um, the artwork from the movie. I really wish we have these skins for the Parasaurolophus, you know, one day. You keep walking. We have more. We have our little DNA friend here saying hi to us, and we have these new statues, the T Rex and the the Alamosaurus in the back. Here's where you. Um, sit and there's four exhibits here so let's go ahead and check what's in this for you probably you guys already know by now but still so we have compies here so this Despite is the compies it's it, uh. size Compsignathus is an accomplished predator more commonly known as the compie this okay the narrator is loud in my end but we'll go inside the exhibit and and I'll I'll just showcase that. And here are the Morris interpreters. I don't know if I um the walls are not um tight enough. Hopefully they don't try to or tend to escape. But the Morris here and the compies. And then if we keep moving here. Yeah, we have our Lystrosaurus. Look how small they are. Yep. And last but not least, we have the Oviraptors. So yeah, and well, obviously, it's going to keep going. And hopefully we do get more tiny dinosaurs because I want to expand this small dinosaur house. So, yeah, the small dinosaur house. Look at, we still have a lot of room. We have all, I mean, we still have a lot of, lot of space, a lot of space for, for this map to use. Um, getting ahead of myself, we're not supposed to talk for so yeah so i'm using this as a the railing as a ceiling kind of works hopefully we do get actual scale uh, ceiling so this is the the habitat for the compies okay i guess it's squeezing as long as they don't try to escape but yeah yeah you don't see them this is the morris interpretus See, you guys don't, you don't see, oh, there it is. Nope, that's not a Morris Interpretus. So, let's see. You need more open space. Why? You guys are very small. Why do you need so much space? What? It's crazy. They're so tiny. So, the 2022. That's weird, because the Winter Wonderland one, they, they were, they seem fine, and they're both, they're all in the, the aviary. So this is the compies. Okay, the compies are they don't they're not explaining. And this is the skin pattern, Gambia River and Chalcorona. If you fancy those skin patterns. Here's the Lystrosaurus. I'm pretty sure this is the Dominion Lystrosaurus. So everything's good on their end. And the 2022 
Lestrosaurus. I'm I'm saying this could be Placerius, just you know upscale its body. Whoa, that's so loud. Make it a little chunkier, bulkier, and there you have Placerius. And Obi Raptor. So yeah, 2022. So yeah, there it is, guys. I feel like it's A-OK. -okay. I still want an indoor habitat. Oh, they're next to the Scorpius Rex. I try to squeeze as much space as possible. You know what I mean? No space should should all be filled. Um, yeah. I do, I still wish that people, you know, guests can still sit in chairs. That's still not a thing. But hopefully we do get a DLC. But this is the small critter house. I really do like it how it actually have shade here. So it does look like it's indoors. Yeah, tell me what you guys think about the small critter house. Um, you know, the usual like if you like it subscribe to see more my goal is to hit 500 subscribers i'm almost there but you know it's still a long journey so hopefully we'll get there soon as possible and i'll see you guys in the next build thank you guys for watching